Leslie Hendershot first came to Bettis Airplane Field in McKeesport between two and three years ago, and soon afterward brought one of his motor models to the officers of the field for, ins for inspection. The fuelless motor works somewhat on the principle of a compass, and the original model would always operate when pointing north or south, as does the compass, but would not move when pointed east or west. Young Hendershot worked nearly two years to overcome this defect, and finally he brought a motor to the Bettis field that appeared to be working perfectly. This motor was installed in a small model airplane and the plane flew, but owing to the failure to rig it properly, it crashed to the ground during one of the experiments. Constantly improving the motor, Hendershot finally interested D. Bar Pete, manager of the Bettis field, in his invention. After a short time, several capitalists were interested, and a few weeks ago, the motor was taken to Detroit by Hendershot and Pete for an exhibition. While no person at the field was in position to say authoritatively, it was stated that the capitalists who become interested in the Hendershot motor have about completed their arrangements for the purchase of the invention or for controlling its production. The fuelless motor, it is said, appears to have tremendous power and easily made between 1,500 to 2,000 revolutions per minute on several occasions while being tested at the field. Pilots and mechanics believe it to be the greatest invention of the age, and all appear sure it will be a practical success as an airship motor. It was stated at the field that the inspection of the motor by Colonel Lindbergh was made in the interests of the capitalists who were arranging to purchase the invention. Gift free motionless electromagnetic generator, MEG, free energy transformer. Generate electricity to power your home with just a battery or phone charger. The square pulse generator controls the power generation on demand. demand. The meaning of free energy system may not be familiar to us. So what is it? We usually think that the amount of produced energy cannot be greater than the amount of energy we use to produce that. However, in the case of free electricity system, what we get is far more than what we use. Some inventors had claimed that they have already achieved that stage. There are many inventors who have contributed to Tesla's original idea. Thomas Henry Moray invented a radiant energy device. Edwin Gray had the 50 horsepower Emma motor and Paul Bowman designed Tesla machine with two parallel magnetic disks. Dr. Robert Adams from New Zealand's invention, heaters, generators and electric motors are powered by permanent magnets. There is also the motionless electromagnetic generator, MEG by Tom and the electromagnetic generator by John. A Japanese doctor, Dr. Nakamot also invented the floppy disks which use Nikola Tesla's free energy system to generate free electricity right in his own house. With all those contributions, we are quite success in conquering free power. However, we still have a long way to go if we want to perfect non-renewable energy resources. First of all, we have to consider the safety when dealing with electricity as this field is quite dangerous. The second thing is its availability. The conception of free electricity does not exist, I have to admit. We cannot find any kind of free energy, but what we can do, though, is to find an energy source that is cheaper, cleaner and more efficient. The thing is we have to act now if we do not want it to be too late. 